you guys must have paid attention to the fact that recently a news came out that uh, Russia no longer has the ability to send an astronaut into ISS. Well, that simply happens because uh, during Soviet Union, there were a lot of launch pads. However, Russia does not have the same economic horsepower. So they only had one launch pad that was capable of handling manned Soyuz crafts. Now, these Soyuz crafts are launched from a very particular launch pad in Cosmodrome. Now, everything is fine. And actually in that site only, if you look into Google map, you will find two other sites are there, but they are decommissioned or half de uh, destroyed so to say so this launch pad is basically sole launch pad that works now here's deal during last launch pad something bad happened either due to fatigue or due to uh, human error uh, basically the dock that is on the bottom section of the launch tower uh, basically uh, it's a deck basically that goes below the rocket and basically allows the technicians to work and connect everything uh, that's supposed to be docked and locked it failed to be either docked or locked and basically when they fired the rocket because of rocket creates very high flow rate it creates a suction force almost like a venturi effect so if you do not have anything around it that is well locked down it will be sucked into it does not matter how many tons so this whole section or gantry if you will that was sucked out of it and because there was no water deluge system these things generally have a, a giant basin a basically a deep pit so it fell and it fell hard so it is completely destroyed now can without it that site work not really can without that uh, they can uh, like you know do something with it well not really because given the fact that so you still requires matchsticks to be uh, ignited from the bottom so you do need good safe access from the bottom and given the fact that debt is so low uh, that you do need a platform to work safely and reliably so what now? Well, here's the deal. This is exactly how America felt when they had to retire space shuttle due to safety issues and they did not have a replacement vehicle ready. They had to ask Russia to launch their astronauts. Same thing will happen only in reverse. This time Russia has to ask American astronauts for that. Now, here's the deal. Can this place be repaired? Of course it can be repaired. Question is how quickly? Uh, now, given the prestige of the factor and given the importance of it, I'm reasonably sure they are moving heaven and earth to do it. Question is, can they do it? If they can do it within nine months, uh, basically before the next launch window, everything is fine and dandy. If they fail to do so, this would be bad. If they take way too long, this would be really, really bad. So let's see how it unfolds.